Hey guys, long time no talk. Really in the form of like actual videos, right? Because I still go live here on this channel every Wednesday and Sunday, but it's been a very long time since I made a video that honestly wasn't like a keto crate unboxing or something like that. So I thought it was time that I just came on here to give a channel and a life update. So if you still watch my lives every Wednesday and Sunday, a lot of this stuff is not going to be news. Like you are pretty much apprised of what's happening in my present and current life. But this is just for people that might not have checked in so recently, just to let you know everything that I'm up to. Starting off with Richard, my marriage. Everything's going great. Me and Richard have been married for over four years at this point and he's still my best friend and my favorite person in the world and I love him so much. Also, my family, nothing much has changed there. Mom's doing great, my cousin Kim's doing great, Amber's doing great, Aunt Beverly's doing great, Grandmama's doing great. All the same players, nothing much has changed on that front. Okay, in terms of my job, once again, I don't know what's the last thing maybe you guys remember, but I started a new job in 2022. I'm a software technical trainer, meaning that I travel around to different customer sites and teach them how to use software. I've been doing it for a little over two years and once again, it's great. I love it. Okay, on the pet front, I have no idea where we last left off. Um, I can tell you, like, let's start in, in a chronological timeline, right? We had Milton, we had Madeline, we have DJ, and we have Alex. So all three of those dogs, Milton, Madeline, and DJ, they are no longer with us. So DJ, we let go a long time ago, and Milton and Madeline, over the past couple of years, I've just had to let them go. They got old, it was time. We were sad, but you know, we, it's been a while at this point, but honestly, if you haven't checked in, you might not have known. Um, so the newest addition to our family, which we've had him for over a year at this point, his name is Alex. He is a chihuahua and he is beautiful and he is a nightmare. Um, and so that's the only dog we have right now is Alex. Okay, finally, the question I'm sure most people wanna know the answer to, like diet, are you still keto? Where have you been? What have you been doing? What have you been eating, right? So um, just short answer, no, I'm not keto. I haven't been keto for a while. All that's to say though, that like the keto diet really changed the trajectory of my health um, and honestly my life in a way. So like I have no bad things to say about the keto diet. I won't say that it was too restrictive or unsustainable, blah, 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 blah. Like you won't catch any keto slander here, any carnivore slander, any PhD slander, none of that. Um, but really one thing that I don't wanna say I realized, but I just knew from the very beginning was that I never intended to live my life completely keto. Like I never intended to ever get to a point where I never planned on having tortilla chips again or cake again or things like that. And I really didn't like looking at it in a way of, okay, well I'm on my diet and I'm on plan, but anytime I choose to have those foods, I was off my diet or off plan. Like, because I didn't see those foods as being off plan. Like they're delicious to me and I, and I knew I was gonna eat them at some point. And so I didn't like the mindset of like, this isn't, you know, like on my plan. Like I just wanted to live in a world where I put tortilla chips on my plan to eat, right? Where I put rice and beans and maybe higher carb things on my plan. And the thing is, if you're putting those things on your plan, then you're not eating keto, right? Like, because the plan of the keto diet is to eat in a way that keeps you in the metabolic state of ketosis. And I just really didn't have an interest in doing that because I knew that that's not how I plan to live forever. And what I really wanted out of this whole thing was just to learn how can I eat sustainably, like forever, how can I eat? And for me, that's just a varied diet of mostly the proper human diet, mostly high protein, low carb, fiber, you know, high fiber filled things, and then a little bit of processed food as well, right? Like, and I really try to limit my processed food and I limit the seed oils that I get. Like there's things that I'm willing to say like, oh, I can cut those things out, but there's some things where I'm like, no, I'm not cutting that out, right? And I'm not, considering those times off plan. So if you wanna know like, okay, well, 
what are you doing? Because unfortunately, I used to think that there were only two ways to approach your health, like fully keto, fully on track, fully locked in, or balls to the wall, cheat day, I don't care anymore, I'm letting myself go. If I'm not watching it perfectly, then what's the point of watching it at all, right? And now I've learned that there's just, there's, there's a middle ground. There's actually a lot of middle ground in there where you can truly be a person that prioritizes your health and prioritizes healthy food, but also plans fun food intentionally. And you know, even if you don't wanna call it food, fun, recreational, ingestible things, you know, intentionally though, right? And not in this, oh my gosh, I have to eat this entire package of Oreos because who knows the next time I'm gonna have Oreos, where now I live my life and I can have Oreos every day if I want. I can choose to eat three Oreos, I can choose to eat 13 Oreos, but regardless how many Oreos I choose to eat, I'm going to decide ahead of time. So that's really what I work on now is just planned, intentional, intuitive eating. Eating when my body says it's hungry, stopping when my body says that it has had enough. If you wanna know like more specifically the mindset or the practice that I'm following, I'm really big into Maggie Sterling's Burn Fat With Your Brain podcast. Um, that really unlocked something in my mind of like, yes, this is what I want to attempt, right? I want to attempt to eat food intentionally and to plan it intentionally and to feel good while eating it, right? Because a lot of times when we're on keto, we're eating non-keto things, we're eating junk food, at least I was, right? And I wasn't feeling good about myself while I was eating it because I knew that I wasn't supposed to or that I wasn't, it wasn't on my plan, etc. And then I felt like I needed to like make up for that or like get back on track or get back on the wagon or whatever it was. And I really just didn't like this notion of like feeling like I had to feel bad about myself when I ate things that I truly enjoyed and knew that I was gonna eat again in the future, right? So burn fat with your brain from Maggie Sterling. That's really the, the mindset, the thought process that I'm following and it has helped me so much. And to that point, it's helped me realize that food is not a big deal in my life anymore. Like I don't make content like what I eat Wednesdays and full days of eating because A, it's the same thing because I'm, I'm still a creature of habit. I still meal prep. I just happen to meal prep things that include carbs. Like I still have my taco bowl, um, but I have chicken, shredded chicken, and I have rice and I have corn and I have beans. Like I have all these things that are not keto, um, but I just eat them in an intentional way. And to me, it's boring, right? And to me, it's not something that I have to, or I want to make it a point to share because it's just my everyday life at this point. And I know at some point in the past, food used to occupy a lot of my mental real estate. Like thinking about what I was gonna eat and how I had to, you know, stay on plan and how well I wanted to do, you know, that took up a lot of mental real estate and it was something that I was really proud of myself for focusing so hard on. And that's why I think I enjoyed sharing it. But these days, like, I don't even think about it. Like, I know what I'm gonna eat. I don't feel any sort of way about like, oh no, it's a cheat day or, oh no, I feel guilty or, oh, this is so good and low carb. Like, it just doesn't matter to me anymore, right? And that's why I don't make videos about it is because it doesn't matter to me. And there are so many people out there who are sharing their keto journeys, their carnivore journeys, like that still really have a love for that content. And so I encourage you to go look those people up. For me, that's two crazy ketos, but there are so many new people these days that I'm sure there is somebody out there that you'll resonate with. And I know a question everyone is dying to know the answer to is, do I still drink Zip Fizz? Short answer, yes. Long answer, not every day, not every week, maybe once or twice a month. Once again, I don't really have this habit and ritual and routine around what I eat anymore. And now it's like, if I feel like it, if I wake up one day and I feel like having a zip fizz before I work out, I'll have a zip fizz. If I just feel like having a scoop of pre-workout, I'll have pre-workout. It's just not this big thing that I make it a point to do every day. It's still delicious. I still love it. I think honestly, Richard drinks more zip fizz than I do at this point, but yes, I, I don't even think I do a, a zip fish shake. I don't three, two, one, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like there's nothing wrong with that. And it was so fun. I just don't have an interest in doing it anymore. And for a long time, I really felt guilty for not having that interest. Like, oh no, it's, 
It's kind of like in Forrest Gump. You remember when Forrest Gump started running and then all these people started following behind him? And then he just up and decided one day that he didn't feel like running anymore. And everybody else was like, well, what are we supposed to do now? You know? And that's how I felt. It's like, oh no, I've got all these people watching my channel and drinking Zip Fizz and doing keto. And they've just decided to join along with me on this journey. And I'm so grateful for it. But there's a lot of pressure that comes like, but like, what if I don't feel like doing this anymore? And then you guys are just going to be like, well, what do we do now? <laughs> you know? And my response to you is you do whatever you want to do, right? Because I've kind of gotten over that guilt and gotten over that like, hey, if I'm going to show up online, I can only show up in one way because this is all people care about. Like shoulder shrug you know what i'm saying so one thing that has not changed and probably has ramped up is like my fitness journey like i still love exercising and i still love dancing and lifting weights and going to the gym and everyone that watches the lives knows that recently i got hired on at the local crunch fitness as a group fitness instructor and that has just been one of the funnest things that I've done in a very long time. I've always loved attending group fitness classes and now being able to teach them, ugh, amazing, obsessed. Oh, something else let me talk about. Okay, how often, if I do, do I weigh myself? I weigh myself once a week and it is what it is, right? I'm just, I really am not putting so much stock into the number. I'm not putting stock into trying to make my body smaller. I'm just putting stock into trying to be a healthy and fit person and I know that diet has a lot to do with that and I know that exercise has a lot to do with that that's really it but like whether or not I lose clothes sizes whether or not I lose pounds on the scale like that is no longer my interest anymore okay so I guess I'll end by saying you know talking about what's next what's next for this channel what's next for me in terms of content creation so I can tell you this, I don't really ever see myself getting to a place where I make content about what I eat or how much I weigh, anything like that. Like not for any other reason than I'm just not interested in it anymore. And there's nothing wrong with people that are still interested in it. It's just not me. And like I said, I really felt guilty for no longer having an interest in it but I don't feel guilty anymore. And you know, part of me was like, oh no, if I wanna start talking about something else, do I have to start a completely new YouTube channel? And you know, I would worry about things like brand continuity and you know, this is what people are coming to watch Autumn Keto to see. But honestly, like, I'm not a brand. I'm just a person. I'm just a person that wants to talk about what I find interesting when I wanna talk about it. And when I don't find it interesting anymore, I might move on to something else, right? And if you feel let down by that, or if you feel like, oh, well, that's not really what I come here for, like no tea, no shade, I invite you to unsubscribe, right? Like, I'm, I don't wanna be a person that you hate watch or spite watch, or like, if you don't care anymore, don't watch. And I'm totally okay with that. But I'm, I feel like for a long time, I was making content because I thought it was what people wanted to see and not because it's the content that I actually wanted to make. So what content do I actually want to make you ask? Once again, if you have been following along on the lives, you probably already know this, but recently, and by recently, I mean in the past couple of years, I've just gotten really, really into financial education and financial literacy and debt payoff and really me and Richard's finances and like making sure that we're saving and investing and budgeting and planning for retirement, like all those things. And I've gotten really into it and that's kind of what I wanna share with people. And I took for granted that like not everybody knows this information and I would be talking to my family, I'd be talking to my best friends and saying like, yeah, you need to do this, you need to do that. And they were like, I didn't know that. I don't even know what that is. I wouldn't know to be on the lookout for that. And and so I just really got my passion for helping people figure their finances out. Maybe like in the past where I, I helped people figure out their diet by like watching me figure out my diet. And that's really what I want to do here. I want to shine a light on maybe helping people figure out their finances by watching like you guys being able to watch me figure out my finances, right? And so you know, maybe I'll do this for a few years and then get bored of it. I don't know. Like I'm not making any promises. I'm just saying like, this is what I'm interested in now. And this is what I'd like to share with people now. And so 
the YouTube channel Watch Autumn Keto, like I don't, I guess it needs a new name, right? Cause I'm not ketoing anymore. With the bottom line, I don't follow keto. But is there something else that starts with a K? Like Watch Autumn Kick Butt, Watch Autumn something, right? The W-A-K has been strong for a long time. So, you know, comment down below. What, what could I, you know, what is the name of the channel? Watch Autumn do what? You know, with a K that starts with a K. I have no idea, but I'll start thinking about it. And eventually, yeah, the name of this channel is going to change and I'm going to be talking about financial stuff. And then maybe I'll start talking about something else. Maybe I'll start talking about something else, right? Like, I'm a multifaceted person and I deserve to be able to talk about anything I want without feeling stuck in a box. And I'm not saying that you guys made me feel stuck in a box. I made me feel stuck in a box, right? Like I made me feel like, oh no, I started this watch autumn keto thing. It's the only thing I can do and have to do. Like I put those restraints on myself and I'm not doing that anymore. And, but I do know that consistency is important to a lot of people. And if you want to watch a channel where a person is consistently talking about the same thing all the time, then maybe that's not me because I won't bind myself to having to do that, right? And so I just wanted to give you an update. Like that's where I am in life. That's where I am in terms of what interests me and what I wanna make content about. So like stay subscribed, stay tuned. I'll actually be posting videos on this channel about finances, right? If you have any questions or concerns or anything in particular you wanna see, let me know down in the comments. For those of you that this is the end, I appreciate you, Godspeed. Uh, and let me know what sort of stuff you'd like to see on this channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye. See, that hasn't changed at least. Like I am the same in that respect.